Welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video, we'll be learning how we can integrate Stripe into our React Native application to handle payments. This is going to work on both iOS and Android. So let me just give you a small demo. Here in front of us, assuming we have the payment screen, the user clicks pay by card. We'll get this model that shows up within which we can enter our card details. For now, the billing address has been pre-filled once that's completed, we hit the Done button, which makes a request to the Stripe API and returns this token to us. We then click Make Payment, and our payment is complete. We can confirm that by looking at our console, where we get a status of 200, and we get a set of data returned. On the front end to handle this, of course, we're going to be using React Native, but in order to access the Stripe API, we need to make the calls from our server. To set up the server, we're going to be using Firebase Cloud Functions. So as always, this should be fun to build, so let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is head over to the Stripe website and create a new account. Once you've created your account, head over to the dashboard screen so that you can get access to your API keys. You should see your API keys here on the right, but if you're not seeing them, you can head over to the Developers tab, click on API keys, and here you'll get your Publishable key and your Secret key. Next, you need to head over to the Firebase website, create a new app, and head over to your Firebase dashboard. I've already created a new app. All you need to do here is make sure you modify your plan and select the pay-as-you-go plan so that you can test out your Firebase cloud functions. The Blaze plan also has a free tier, so you won't be charged anything for trying out your cloud functions. So here in front of me, I have an empty React Native project that I created with React Native in it and I'm running it on my iPhone 11 simulator. To get started with Stripe, we'll install this dependency called React Native Tipsy Stripe. For that, let's head over to Google and let's search for React Native Tipsy Stripe. Here, let's head over to the documentation. First, make sure that you're meeting the requirements you surely have more than React Native 0 0.40. And for the installation, just type in yarn at tipsy stripe. So I'm just going to open up our terminal and type yarn at tipsy stripe. Once that's installed, let's head back to the documentation. It asks you to set up your pod file. Let's have a look at the pod file. And let's copy in these lines here. Back in our project. We can go into iOS, open up the pod file, and paste that in here. Let's save that, open up our terminal again, cd into the iOS folder, and type in pod install. We can now cd back into our project, close the terminal out, and come here to the top of the app.js, and let's import in Stripe from tipsy Stripe. Let's then initialize Stripe, by saying stripe dot set options, pass in our publishable key, which we can find in our developer console. Let's copy that out and paste that in here. So in order to set up our UI for the payment, we can use some UI components that are provided to us by tipsy stripe. So here where we were looking at the pod file, let's just head back to example and just clone this project onto our machine. So I've already got the project cloned in here. Go inside the project folder and in the example folder, head into the source folder. What we need from here is the scenes and the components folders. So what we'll do is we'll just select them and drag them into our app. Here, I'm just gonna copy the folders. And now inside our scenes folder, the screen we need is the card form screen. Here what I'll do is, I'll copy out this complete class, come back to app.js, let's get rid of this const app, and paste that in here. We'll also just get rid of these test IDs from here. And here on top, let us import in the button component from the components folder and from the buttons file. 
here on top I'm just going to get rid of the default imports and I'm going to just import in pure component from react as you can see we have the UI screen set up if you click on enter your card and pay we get that payment screen showing up let's click on enter your card and put in the details You can just use this card number as a test number. Click on done. And you notice that you get back the token from the server. This token is being received by this method here, which is stripe.paymentRequestWithCardForm. We're passing in these pre-filled details and that returns our token. Now in order to actually complete our payment, let's set up our server. For that, we'll use Firebase Cloud Functions. So just open up the terminal and make sure that you have Firebase tools installed. For that, you can just type in npm install dash g firebase tools. Since I already have it installed, I'm not going to install it again. Thereafter, you can just type in firebase init. Come down to the third option, which is functions. Press spacebar to select it. Select a project which you want to use. So the one I'm going to use is React Native Stripe, which we had created earlier. I'm going to use JavaScript as a default language and just select yes for ESLint. Thereafter, just type in yes again to install the dependencies. This will give us access to the Firebase Cloud functions within our app. Once the initialization is complete, let's close this out. Here in your sidebar, you'll get a new folder called functions within which you can open up the index.js file. So here we have access to the Firebase functions but we also want access to Stripe. Since we'll be uploading this code to our Firebase Cloud functions, it'll have no knowledge of Stripe on the front end. So we need to make sure that we open up our terminal, cd into our functions folder, and here we can type in npm install Stripe. Sorry, that should be npm install Stripe. To confirm its installation, we can just check out the package.json, and here we have Stripe installed. Back to our index.js inside our functions folder. Let's go ahead and import stripe and set up our secret key. So we'll say const stripe is equal to require stripe. And then here as a second parameter, you have to pass in your secret key. Again, back to your developer console. Here you can reveal the test token and copy it. Come back to your app and paste that in here. Now we'll set up our function that we can access via URL. So we'll say exports. Let's call that complete payment with Stripe. It's going to be a functions.https dot on request. Inside that we have the request and the response. And here we'll call a method on the Stripe API called stripe.charges.create. The mandatory arguments are amount, which we'll pass in by saying request.body.amount. The currency, again, we'll pass that in with request.body.currency. And lastly, we need to pass in a source, which is meant to be the token. But for testing purposes, you're meant to pass in tok underscore mastercard. Once the request is complete, we'll call dot then. We'll get the charge object and we'll say response.send. Otherwise, if we have an error, we'll just log out the error, which we can review in our Firebase console. So just a quick recap, we've created a Firebase function, which can be called from a URL. That's why we're using HTTPS. We're then using the Stripe API to call .charges.create. The three mandatory properties, which are amount, currency, and source, when we're using the test keys, we have to pass in tok underscore mastercard. Once we get that charge response back, we have to send it using response.send and pass in charge. To have a deeper look at the options available, you can head over to the Stripe documentation. Under charges, you can have a look at the create method. And here you'll see the available options. Let's save that out. Let's open up the terminal and let's publish our Firebase function. Here we'll say Firebase deploy and pass in the only flag with functions. Since we had ESLint enabled, 
we were getting this error here. Let's just pass in a quick fix. Open up our terminal again and then type in Firebase deploy only functions. So while that's getting deployed, we'll just come back to our app.js and for the source, when you're using it in production, you actually have to pass in this token that you receive instead of passing in TOK underscore MasterCard. So once we've received our token, we want to make a call to our Firebase URL. For that, we'll use a library called Axios. So open up your terminal again, CD out into your project folder and type in yarn add Axios. Once that's installed, come here on top and let's import in Axios from Axios. So Axios will help us make the HTTP request, but down here in our view, once we get the token, for now we're just displaying the token. Along with that, let's just pass in a new button. Let's pass in the text called make payment, pass in loading with the loading flag, which is there by default, and then pass in an on press, which will call a method called this store make payment. We we'll just wrap this into a fragment. Now, when make payment is clicked, we'll call the make payment method. So that's make payment. It's going to be an asynchronous method within which we'll first set this dot set state loading to true. Then we'll use Axios to set up our request. So we'll pass in method, which is post for our URL, pass in the URL, which we should have got in our terminal, but I've already cleared that out. So I'm just going to go into my console, go into functions and here just copy this URL, paste that in here. Then let's pass in the data, the amount. Let's give it a default of hundred for now. The currency, let's just assume it's USD and the token, which would actually be this dot state dot token. Once the request is complete, we'll get the response, which we'll just log out. And then we'll just set this dot set state loading to false. So now let's test this out. Now, before we test this out, let's enable our debugger. Let's click on enter your card, pass in this number here and click on done. We've got the token back. Now let's just make the payment. We get the loading indicator while the payment is processing. We get back a status of 200 and we see that we get back our data, which shows that our payment was complete. We can also go back to our Firebase functions, check out the logs and see if the function executed properly. So as we can see, the function was called and the function finished with a status code of 200. Just ignore all of this there at the bottom. It was when I was testing it all out. So as you can see, we've set up our UI, we've passed in our card details, we've sent those details back to our server in our Firebase Cloud function, and we've completed our payment with Stripe. So that's just a quick intro on how you can integrate Stripe into your React Native app. As always, I hope you like this and try this out.